Hello, it's me, Catnip Hellcat, better known as Sherry. I am here today because I'm reviewing some products I got via through the mail from Wet n Wild. Woo! Now, I did record an unboxing, but when I went back to watch it, I was like, no, just no. <laughs> so, let's go over some of the products I did buy and give you my thoughts about them and all that. So, um,. Yeah, let's get into this. I don't have a- okay. Okay. Ugh, I'm staring off in the blank. Okay, so one of the first things that I got was Coming Up Roses and the Metallic Liquid Lipstick. Now, I didn't wear it today because it kind of clashed with my look. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, this bugs. But I am gonna swatch it. Look at that. And let me do like a one pass swatch. Like that. Now, this has like an eerily sweet, sweet, over sweet smell that I, I wouldn't say is bad, but it's like, you'll notice it when you first open it. Now, like, the shimmer is really pretty and everything, and I haven't had it where it dries down to a matte, like the Milani's or the Jeffree Stars, the Kat Von D's, or, <laughs> it, I feel like it's more like the, if y'all seen the Hard Candy Mousse metallic lipsticks they came out with, and that's, I feel like it's more like that. It is pretty sticky. I don't think it's going to dry down to a matte. Let's see how it cleans. It's one of my makeup wipes. That is one pass. And it does like have quite a bit of glitter in it. And it's leaving a slight pink residue. But now it's gone. You see a slight mark. But um, this is like a really pretty color on me and all that and I really like it um so yeah definitely keep an eye out on this I can't remember the price of it but it's definitely worth the pickup for sure and I love the applicator parts like it's like like it has a slight scoop so it fits your lip a lot better than like a normal doe fruit like um oh my god let me grab one real fast um like that, you know, or even, let's check out this one, how's it, like that, so that scoop thing fits the lip really perfect and everything, so, but that was the, the lipstick, now to talk about the Wet n Wild Dual and Contour Stick. Now, I have oily skin, so, like, I've, I've watched quite a few videos where it suggests to do a cream contouring and everything, and I've tried this out. It's pretty good, and the reason, there's a reason why I say it's pretty good, is because, like, the contour, it, it's pretty light. I should have gone a little bit darker with it, but, like, I didn't know, because this is, like, a light medium, so, like wasn't too sure. I'd rather have it too light than too dark because I, I could build it up with powders and stuff. Like the contour part is really good, but the highlight, it does nothing for me. It really does nothing for me at all. So I might eventually just like, I don't know what I'm going to do with the contour part, the um, highlight part, but the contour is pretty good. I just can't use it around my nose for some reason. It just, it doesn't work. It, pulls off a lot of makeup when I go with contour on my nose, so. Anyways, the Wet n Wild Focus, Photo Focus <laughs> Setting Spray, and the name of it, Seal the Deal. Well, Wet n Wild, what were you thinking? This smells like pure fucking alcohol, pure alcohol, and that's kind of disgusting. And like I had put on my mascara and it's a waterproof mascara. Let me show you. 
the Scandalous Eyes from Rimmel London. This is waterproof. And I've never had like I I boob mascara boo boos or anything like that. As soon as I put this on, it was basically making my mascara run. And it's like what the fuck is in here that's making my mascara a waterproof mascara run? And it smells like alcohol. Like, I'm kind of scared to find out what the actual ingredients are. And all that. So, mm. Uh, mm. I'm, I might, you know what I might do with it is use it as a primer spray. As a prime primer spray. Because, like, the sprays like this for setting up my makeup work, but not for setting it. Mm -mm. So that way I don't end up wasting it. So now on to the highlighters I got. So these were like the hottest things during the summertime. Like everybody was able to get them but me. <laughs> and these are like so pretty. I got both of the um, highlighting colors from the summer. This one was crown of my canopy and it's like so pretty and then this one was precious petals so like let's do a quick swatch I'm gonna do one with my finger and then one with the brush so um, let me get a setting spray or a primer spray and that sets I did too much. Try that. I wouldn't do this to someone else's face. Alright, so now I got the setting, uh, not setting spray, the primer spray on. We're going to do the precious petals. This is with my finger. Do three swipes. As you can see, Right, and then I'm gonna go across my hand. Oh wow! So now with a brush, uh, let's go with where is that little brush? This brush from uh, Real Techniques, because they this they have a fan brush, but I don't think the fan brush is gonna do what I want. One, two, three. Look at that, and then. Oh, blended it out. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. Alright. On to the next color. So this is the crown of my canopy. So was one, two, three. That's so pretty. And then Oh my god. Ooh, ooh. Right. So Clean brush. One, two, three. And for those who are curious, like I am not cleaning the brushes on my pants. I am cleaning my brushes on a makeup eraser wipe cloth thing. It's a dupe for it. Anyway, so now with the brush. Oh my god, look at that. So these are the finger swatches here. That is the brushes so like that is so pretty oh my god let me leer it more look at that oh my god it's so gorgeous so gorgeous let me do the other one Oh my god. These these were on sale when I bought them. So definitely pick you up these. If and if, you know, you're only going to use them in summer. At least you'll be ready for next year. And there is like a rainbow highlighter. That's all that. But I'm waiting for it to come back in stock. Hurry up. <laughs> so now let's get into the big, the biggest purchase I made. Which was the 17 brushes that they have as a set 
for $23.99 on their site. And look at that. All right, so I have used quite a few of these brushes. I, like, I, I purposely use these so you, that way you can see how dirty they would get. Like, that is like how they are clean. And everything. And this is like a foundation brush. And then, like, here's the stippling brush I tried. And I tried this a few times with it. So, like, they will get dirty quick. But, like, I haven't cleaned these. And I would definitely give an update on them. On, like, how good they clean. But, like, I really love them because they have that really nice groove in them. Like, that is, like, the bomb.com. <laughs> you know? I know. People are going to be like, oh, my God. This is my blush brush. Got a little bit of blush here already. But, I mean, these will get dirty quick. So, like, for me, seeing it actually dirty prompts me to clean them a lot more. Where, like, my e.l.f. brushes are mostly black. So, I won't think about cleaning them as often. So, yeah. Like, these are from two, three times uses so far now. Like, like there's only... A few brushes I haven't found like a real use for like these two this is like the flat top it's like a powder brush I believe and this is the foundation brush and because I like putting on my makeup with a sponge and I tried a stippling brush which was pretty good but like yeah they're so and they're so soft definitely you have to pick them up before they stop selling them there are a few brushes that you can only get online and all that and like, look at that. Who doesn't like a good white makeup brush? And like the grooves. And the only like the only complaint I have about them is that they're not like like you. If you're a lefty, they're gonna fit kind of like weird in your hand. Like unless you bring your hand down. And I don't know that many people that point their finger down. I mean, unless you find someone, then like leave me a link down below. Like, I use this for my contour and cream contour. Eyeshadow brush. Oh my god. This thing got a lot of work. <laughs> and then they have a fan brush, which I'm really impressed with. And then, like, this is a good blending brush. For sure, a good blending brush. Anyway, so that was, like... Oh, oh! I forgot. <laughs> I have the Wet n Wild... Um, Eyeliners, these are pretty good and everything. Um, this is the, what is it? To my Yang and uh, the black one, I didn't realize. This one said, you're the Yang, you're the Ying to my Yang. Kind of cute. Um, I've used the white one so far. The black one is still in its packaging. I might be using the black one soon. I don't know, because like, I got so many of them open now. But... I'm liking these so far. But yeah, that is my um, haul that I had gotten from Wet n Wild. Which, by the way, Wet n Wild, I need a code. And they they do have their holiday collection out. So definitely go check out their holiday collection. It's really, really gorgeous. They have the gold bar in stock that everybody's been going crazy for. So definitely, if you... You definitely go over to um, Wet n Wild as fast as you can to pick up that or the holiday collection. So, yeah. Alright, so if you like this video, give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care. Along with following me on my social medias. And, um, I'm probably going to be doing a few hangouts here. So, definitely turn on your notifications to keep up to date with what I'm doing and everything along with I have a blog now um <laughs> all right guys and don't forget to hit that little hellcat in the corner because you know you want to be one <laughs> all right guys and I will see y'all in my next video bye hello it's me catnip hellcat or better known as sherry I am here today because I got my first boxy charm all thanks to Nick Nick Snyder.